Growing up, um, I don't think I was the arty child or creative child in the class, but it was always something that I enjoyed. When I was in primary school, I was part of a scouting group. This is a badge that I designed, so it has the four elements um, around the edge, and then inside we have the recycling symbol, because that was the theme for that weekend. Going through secondary school, I didn't see myself going on a path of art or design. I chose art as a subject because it was that subject that I could go into, I could get a high grade in, but also it was just an enjoyable subject. I was in an art class one day and we had a great relationship with our art teacher. I was speaking about how I was going to go into nursing and she was uh, just questioning me, are you sure you want to do that? Is that something you want to do? And to be honest, I wasn't confident that was something that I wanted to do. I just thought that was something I should do. And at that point she said, you know, in GMIT they have a great art course, it's where I went, I think you should go to the open day. About two weeks later there was an open day and instantly I just, I knew that that was where I was meant to be. However, I did, I suppose, come up against a little bit of stigma from maybe friends, parents, just asking me questions like, and what will you get out of choosing a career through art or design? Even their own ideas of what careers I could have was always, oh, you can be the art teacher or you can be the art therapist. Even at that point, I didn't know what career I would get out of it. I just knew that that's where I would be happiest. So the course that I studied was fashion and textiles design. In year three, you have uh, the first semester in the college, and then in semester two, you get an invaluable work placement. I went to London and I worked with Slim Barrett London. He is a jewellery and metalwork designer. The biggest thing that I learned is that it's it's hard work to establish yourself on an international scale but for me that really spurred me on in my final year of studies to work really hard. Port West sent out booklets with graduate opportunities um, inside so I went to the interview and I secured the position before I had graduated so I was very lucky that I had that pressure taken off me. My everyday job is to manage the product post-design stage, so I look after the product during production. I see the full life cycle of the product. I think when you leave college, it's like when you leave school, you're not 100% where you're going, but you're not meant to know. So going down the product management avenue is definitely a different avenue for me. To say that at 22, that you love what you do every day is, Amazing really, you know.